On the other hand, you're going to see stuff like this. This one looks far more difficult than it needs to, all right? So we need everything on the left side of the equal sign and a zero on the other side. So in this case, what I'm going to do is take that 72 and subtract it from both sides. So minus 72. Oh, man, that was a bad two. There we go. So 72 minus 72 is zero. We did have n squared plus n, which we can't combine with uh, negative 72 or minus 72 by itself. So this is our new expression, which we can then factor, right? 72, uh, negative 72 more specifically. I'm going to use 8 and 9, specifically negative 8 and 9. And using the rule, again, just for time's sake, this is what we would get, n minus 8 and n plus 9. And if we solve these, we've got n minus 8 equals 0, so n equals 8. And n plus 9 equals 0, so n equals negative 9. The great thing about this is that you guys right now already see a pattern if the answer is going to be negative or positive. Some of you guys, I should say. Some are still catching on to that, and that's okay. But if we have minus a value, then it's, the answer is going to be positive. If we're adding a value, then the answer is going to be negative, just like we did in these two cases right here.